Alright. We take apart cow's milk first. Start off by removing the threads, the tracks, whatever you call them. Okay. Now he has no tracks. From there, you want to grab a small flat head. And these have little openings. Right here, they just push it in. Push up. Just pops right off. You do, it, you do the same thing with the smaller ones. Now for the other side. And for the other smaller one. Alright, now you have four screws. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, so you just want to move those four screws. All right, found the screw. Now you can take the other wheels off. From there, you can see the uh, gears. Because how this works on um, in the wheels, there's little gear teeth, which is actually kind of cool. So hair really won't get stuck in this. And it's well protected too, because of the outer gear. Well, mostly because of the mech. Comes away. All right, now. Of course, these, this can come off, the full forklift piece, but that, this really isn't necessary to take off at all. From here, let's see, you've got, you, yeah, this next part, you have to remove the arms, and to accomplish that, we're gonna need, like, something really small. First time I did this, I did this, like, a bit differently, but, you're gonna see. If I can actually accomplish this. Okay, yeah. See? That one popped off. Now, hopefully. Actually, I think the other one might be. Hmm. Um. Well, anyways, uh, from there, you just want to push this little thing in. Push down, push in, pull on the other one, and then you just lift the arms up a bit more. And said, from there, the arm should pop off. There, that one off. Same thing with the other one, and you just pull this out. And there, you have the uh, forklift arms out. And now, you're just simply left with a Cosmo, with no wheels, and no forklift. So this is where it gets fun. Now, from here you're going to want to disassemble the head. You, don't have to do this on, you can do it on both sides, but it's best if you do it on one side. So I have to do just these little red caps here. These just pop off. Push this in there. Hold it in, and then just pry it off the other end, and there, you want the little red squares off. Of course, you can remove the other one if you want to, but again, you don't have to. And hidden in here are two screws. Alright, 
Actually, before we continue, I'm actually kind of concerned if this is supposed to pop off as well, and someone's calling on the house phone. I do not know. Alright. This is perfect. Bueno. Alright. The gears come out. In there. Yeah. Now, can you just lift this up gently? In there. Yep, there's this, the uh, faceplate cover, then you can just slide this, we'll show off which contains this is spring, be really careful to not lose the spring, this is really important. And now, you can just simply gently pull the other half off, see this is what I mean, these little <coughs> 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 what the heck just happened? Alright. Ah. Okay, some, some spice just happened. Anyways, from here, there's there's two screws that go into these, and you can take these off as well, but it's different. So that's why I say you can only move from one end. You don't have to do it with both. Now, here's the uh, LCD screen. Well, not LCD, the OEMD screen. And then here you have the camera. Which is actually pretty cool because uh, you expect this to be held in with a ribbon cable, but no, it's only held in by a wire harness. It's very interesting. And it actually makes it a lot simpler too. See, just unplugs. The speaker, you don't really have to worry much about it, but it is a fairly small speaker that it has. But yeah. Right. Now. You are held in with just that. There's my name. <laughs> now, from here, you want to remove this red plate right here. There's two screws. There we go. Now, you see, you can just pull the little red cover off. And from there, you have this little piece right here, you can, this comes off too. There's just two screws on each side. Now you can just pull this off, and there. Next, pretty much this is where everything just comes apart. Um, there is, there's three screws. Well, actually, what you want to do next, you actually just push this back. Actually, no, you, not yet. Forget that you saw that. Yep, you go back in place. That's actually not even the next step. My apologies. There's three screws you want to take out. Okay, I just gotta try and hurry up because my phone only has 13 minutes left of filming. Oh, the screw does not want to come out. Yeah, and I'm right now I'm at the nine minute mark, so I'm gonna hurry up. There we go. It's always really handy to have a magnet on here. Alright, and now, the screws. Now that's when you want to pull this piece back. Just pops off. And then this will come in two halves. Yeah, two harnesses you just have to simply undo. Just pull all this out. Here we go. Yep. This little thing will fall. Do not throw this away. This is actually the uh, counterweight for it. And then from there, what you want to do is just unplug. Ah, there you go. Got the small one out. Oop. Oop. And 
there. Now you have the uh, main electronics. There's the battery. My, the reason I made this video on mine is because mine does not work anymore. Uh, there's like a few burnt components, and if you can see here on the battery, it left the marks. So I'm gonna look into the board again right now and see what components they are. They're that are dead, so I can look for them online and replace them. So this is the entire module. Here you have the uh, gearbox for the wheels. A little sensor. There's the battery and charging tabs. Here you have the uh, arm, the forklift, mech. I just put my hand barely. Very cool. And here, these two are pretty much together. But this side, you have the um, this is the head gearbox, and of course, right here is the uh, lights that go up here. So pretty much, this is how you pretty much take apart Cosmo to get to all this area. I'm not gonna put this back together because I'm not gonna have enough time. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think and all. And also if anyone has any Cosmos that are broken, like severely so broken from like missing parts and are willing to sell them, please let me know because I could really use a new Cosmo board to get mine up and working. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye.